Well, unlike at the general election, at this ballot box, it's not a case of one person, one vote, but three. Three different ballot papers for three different votes. And just remember, pink, yellow and orange. Pink first. It's for the all-important mayoral election. Remember, you can cast a first and second choice for mayor. First choice in the first column, second choice, second column, both with a cross. And here's why that second vote really does matter. So if none of the candidates get elected in the first round you know, through getting a majority, then the two leading candidates go through to the second round and everybody who voted for one of those two candidates as their second preference, their vote goes to, to, towards the overall result. Well, now that yellow ballot paper. This is for your London Assembly member for your local constituency, basically where you live. There are 14 in all for London and here's who they went to at the last election. Split between Labour with eight and the Conservatives with six. So why do they matter? The Assembly holds the Mayor to account, it can veto budgets and key strategies, uh, it can bring matters of concern to Londoners before the Mayor and, and, and so on. That just leaves the orange ballot paper. This is for your choice of party or independent candidate to represent all of London on the Assembly. There are 11 London-wide Assembly members in total. So just remember, pink, yellow, orange. Think 60s psychedelia, think lava lamps, think my grand's Battenberg cake. Just don't forget, three coloured ballot papers, three separate votes. And pink, well that's for the Mayor.